like those real life sceneries to anime style AI. Today we have something along the line of the traditional photo filtering techniques from the author of Style to Paint, which is the AI that assists colorization for mangas. They released a new paper called Erasing Appearance Preservation and Optimization Based Smoothing. And the results from this AI can be used in various occasions such as visual enhancement, image decomposition, texture replacement, relighting, recoloring, and stylization. This not only can be convenient to process pre-existing images like stock photos, but it takes no human efforts into doing so, other than any post-processing, of course. The original problem creates a need of human inputs where we need to mask manually and it may take hours tracing accurately into how lights project onto the object in the image. And interestingly, all these functions are derived from the need of image simplifications. How this author approached this problem was that to make simplifying images is easier for the AI, first we gotta manually facilitate the image estimations by marking textual and highlight components, so it can perform structural extraction and pattern decomposition a lot better. And by doing so, the image is able to achieve satisfying smoothing. So as you can see here, the green lines are drawn by humans and it shows how well image smoothing does running through different kinds of smoothing methods. And this then creates the erasing appearance preservation problem, and the solution of it brought in a lot more functions like the ones I mentioned previously. To put it simply, what can we do if we do not want any human inputs to facilitate the process of image smoothing? To get around this problem smoothly, ha, huh, get it? It observes how human marks the manual part like the green lines that we just saw, then develop a model to discover pixels that are likely to be marked by humans. And this model is another breakthrough of this AI. And here we can see the difference between masking it automatically with this model or masking it manually by a professional. So with this AI now, not only we can extract the highlights and shadows of illustrations, but also use the mask to achieve various tasks like inverting reflectance color, recoloring reflectance plus layer removal, mask texture removal, and many more. Personally, testing the results is more fun though, so I put the AI generated masks into Photoshop and tested it myself. Here, I used the mask that was generated and increased its feather to relight the sunset into more red or even into other colors. And with this AI assisted masking, it provides faster workflow when needed to relight an image. And it also produce a simplified version of the image. And not gonna lie, the only thing I know how to do with masks is relighting. I bet some of you may know how to do greater stuff with this. But just look at this, it even can create new highlights for illustrations this easily from the original yellow to a variety of other color tones. Or an illustration with white highlights to have a more devilish visual impact by changing it into more of a red tone. Anyways, I tested out way more stuff than I've shown on this video. It is just a really fascinating AI to play around with. Unfortunately though, this impressive paper can only be played on MATLAB, which is not free. And as the author stated, this is because Python has a weak sparse optimization game and it'll take forever for Python to run it. So sorry for covering a paper that's not accessible to some people, but this AI is just too fun to see and hard to not cover for me. So that's about it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my Patreon that I recently created. Follow me on Twitter or join my Discord for some juicy updates and I'll see you guys next time.